Kragen's dark world and with inspiration from the library of the untold's ominous universe, we unveil the war eclipse, a prophetic dance. My dear listeners, this is a dark time indeed. This story is based on a rumor and truth. Steal your hearts, because sometimes reality is far more horrifying than fiction. In the cosmic amphitheater, an enigmatic choreography of celestial entities pirouettes through the eons, orchestrating the ebb and flow of terrestrial destinies. This mystifying ballet, at times entrancing, at times portentous, mirrors the heartbeat of empires, chronicles their ascents and heralds their inexorable descents. From the arcane pyramids resonating with the stellar tunes to the cryptic prophecies of lunatics professing to unravel the cosmic script, the boundless canopy above perennially echoes the tumults and triumphs beneath. The annular eclipse, a celestial drama where the moon shrouds the sun, leaving only a fiery halo, stands as an astral enigma that has forever ensnared humanity's gaze in a blend of reverence and trepidation. Its emergence, a dark augury, often casts a pall not merely upon the terrain, but upon the destiny of realms. This eerie sentinel draping despondence upon the vast expanses of America has been discerned as a harbinger that presages the advent of strife, as if the cosmos themselves lamented the looming desolation. Rewind the annals of time to the somber epoch of 1863 amidst the Civil War, a turbulent era when the annular eclipse traversed the heavens. Kin pitted against kin, the earth was drenched in crimson, and the spectral luminescence of the eclipse seemed to mirror the nation's sundered spirit. The lacerations of that war, etched by cannon and steel, seemed to mirror the trajectory of the eclipse, branding the land with its dolorous transit. Fast forward to the Middle Eastern cauldron of discord, a region incessantly teetering on the precipice. The discord between Israel and its adversaries is a festering sore, never nearing convalescence. The U.S., with its martial arsenal and allegiances, is eternally lured to these tumultuous waters, ensnared by a labyrinthine nexus of polity and dominion. The celestial portents, with their fiery halos and shadowy cavort, might very well be heralding another descent into pandemonium. Summon forth Nostradamus, the Oracle of the Arcane, whose quatrains have perennially been a wellspring of bewilderment and dread. He envisions an eagle, a crescent, emblems that many contend reverberate with the imagery of the U.S. and the Middle East. His ominous verses, enveloped in enigma, seem to forewarn a clash of titans, a war perhaps birthed from the very omens the cosmos unveil. In this contemporary juncture, the globe perches at a nexus, with the headlines bellowing of impending calamity, the U.S.'s allegiance to Israel might be the flint that kindles the ensuing inferno, and as the annals of history elucidate, the annular eclipses might indeed be the cosmos's cryptic modus of reminding us of the cyclical, oft-tragic essence of conflict. The ring of fire in the cosmos, ever vigilant, ever adjudicating, reflects the ring of fire on terra firma, a cycle of obliteration and genesis that humanity seems fated to reiterate. Unfurling the tapestry of the USA's wartime economy when the drums of war beat, the machinations of the economy reverberate in tandem. Each detonation, a somber melody that fuels the engines of commerce, forging a nation that thrives amidst the ashes of devastation. A grim paradox where the specter of war is both a harbinger of affluence and a reaper of lives. Thus, with the shadows of prophecies looming and the echoes of war drums resonating across the continents, the narrative spirals into a realm of ominous reverence. As the fiery halos in the sky cast foreboding silhouettes upon the belligerent realm below, it unveils a realm ensnared in a perpetual dance of creation and obliteration. As the sun and moon enact their prophetic dance, orchestrating a narrative of doom, the world descends into a theater of war, echoing the sinister verses of Nostradamus and the somber rhythm of a wartime economy. It's a hell of a dark world where the celestial omens and earthly conflicts entwine in a macabre ballet. 
narrating the eerie symbiosis between the cosmos and the carnage on the battlefields.